Hello and welcome to the video companion for my podcast, Theme on the Cheap. This is for episode number 11 where we will play Hunters of the Dead. This is a cheap game on Steam and if you are familiar with my podcast you know that I review cheap games and let you know if you should spend your money or not. So let's talk about this game. What we have here is a combination of Plants vs. Zombies and Rogue Legacy. It's where there is permadeath, but you can use gold gain throughout the level to give yourself permanent upgrades to help you on your next playthrough. The goal of this game is to get to Dracula and kill him while letting your base not die, as in Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, this game once you start it and start playing it, you cannot start a brand new clean slate game. So this video is going to be me uh, playing through the game in a game that's already been played quite a bit, actually. I'm about five hours in. So th when I talk about upgrades and getting gold, these are the upgrades you can get. 16 of them to make your base stronger or to give you better starting weapons to make sure your starting guys are stronger level or to let you start with more starting guys or I think this is blade up here I haven't unlocked it yet it's pretty expensive so let's get into the game it's this is where Van Helsing is telling you that you need to go kill Dracula he should be doing it himself but whatever so here's your base this is where you start on the left because I've played for a while and leveled up, I get to start with four hunters. I have my sniper, my shotgun, my sword guy, and this guy has an automatic rifle, even though you can't really see it. And you can click on them, and it'll tell you their level, how much more experience points to get to the next level, their health, their attack points, and how much damage they're going to do. And you can switch their gun if you have any of the guns. I can switch this guy to a pistola dude but why would I do that because he's pretty weak alright so Dante Darren Vincent and Wesley this is where we're gonna start now to get the game going you are going to click on one of the surrounding houses and each one does something different for you these towers over here will give your middle structure more health points these regular houses will give you more hunters over here in the column the hospitals right here will let you heal your guys, which if need be, you hit this plus on health points. And then they'll send you to the hospital. The more hospitals you own, the faster and more health points you get per turn. Uh, we have right here the market. This improves your resting rate. When you run out of the blue, then your action points are spent and you're going to have to rest for a couple turns. The more of these you control, the faster your action points come back so that's all we could see really on here oh here's the gadget store this increases the amount of gold and experience you get at the end of each little level so let's start playing and we're gonna uncover a couple more buildings as we go so first off I'm gonna get another hunter I click that and as you can see here's Gustavo now now every time you click on a building that counts as a turn oh also you have your quest down here so, he's telling me to kill five undead of any kind. And that's pretty easy. So, I'm going to keep clicking on buildings until I get put into a battle. Kind of like some old Zelda or Link or, or Final Fantasy where you randomly get a battle going. So, let's get another hunter. There's Keith now. Make my building stronger. Another hunter. And you want to start working your way out in a spiral because the further you get out, the stronger their enemies get. So until you build up some, some strong guys over here, you want to keep it close. So there's a hospital, the gadgets, another hospital, another hospital. Now normally I would have hit some bad guys by now. This is actually pretty odd. Marketplace, another marketplace. As you can see, I just clicked the tower and my main building has more hit points now. And there we go. Now we got some bad guys coming. You'll recognize a screen like this if you played Plants vs. Zombies and now you're just gonna drag your guys out over here as you can see the red indicates where they can shoot your sniper has a long range but he can't hit these two squares uh, your automatic weapon guy your sword guy can only attack right in front of him and we'll do some shotgun 
you can see the spray pattern of the shotgun right there. So after the round, you will get your modifier and your reward with your points and your gold and the experience gain from everybody who gets a shot. Now as far as I can tell, if you get the killing shot, kind of like Dota, that's when you get the experience. But don't quote me on that. So I finished this inner ring and now I'm going to work my way out and kind of see what I need. My building didn't get damaged any, so I really don't need to open up these towers yet. My guys didn't really take any damage, so I'm not worried about the hospitals. So I'm going to try to get some more hunters. Go around looking for the hunter houses. There's one there. Oh, here we go. Look at this is the gun store. So this will give this guy a weapon. Gustavo now has a shotgun. It's completely random. Uh, everything is randomly generated. So let's get another hunter and now we fight. So they're going to get a little bit harder now that I'm further away from my main base. So once again, I'm just going to kind of put these guys out. And believe it or not, this is a little bit tougher. Ooh, that was a bad placement. I don't know what I was thinking. This is a little bit tougher when you're first starting out. Seeing as how I start out with four level fives, it gets a little easy. But I've been playing for five hours and still haven't beat it yet, so it tells you how difficult it is. What's next? Alright. So, throw down the sniper. Throw him down. Get some shotgun up over here. throw these two guys really no big deal to start off my guys have taken a little bit of damage as you can see but no biggie so our experience and we're good now if we had to we don't because he still has plenty of health but if you want to heal him you go over here you click the HP and you can send him to the hospital now you can see with the current number of hospitals I own in one day you'll get 24 to 36 health and it won't let me go up anymore because in one day is all it needs to get fully healed well, all right let's go till we fight a little more let's get a little let's get a little dangerous let's start going far out so you can see it get a little bit harder now we have a ranged person who, I will show you right here, will stay far enough away that you can't hit him. Oh, that was a bad example. I can deploy everybody. So as you can see, he's so far away that my guy can't hit him, but he can hit my guy, so you really gotta be careful with those guys. Now I can move. If you have action points left, move him up. Like I can take this guy and move him down because he has action points left. Winner, winner. Oh, and I lost one. So that hunter's gone permanently, and we are still going. Now these graveyards I haven't mentioned yet. These you could send your guys in for experience, which I will show you after we destroy these guys. I'm going to show you, oh, alright, so this is important to know, let me put some of these guys out to finish these off. If a guy is off this map, you can't shoot him, so this can get you killed, like it's you know, obviously getting me killed right now. Just so you guys know, don't do it, and there goes Dracula, who hits my fence and takes off 115, he does some damage. Now eventually you're going to be strong enough to kill Dracula when he shows up randomly, and I think that means game over, but I don't know, I haven't got there yet. Oh, lost another guy. Okay, so now we can pick a guy if we wanted to and hit the plus sign there. And then we can send him to train. And just like the hospitals, how much experience you get is based on how many graveyards you get and how many days you send them for. So I can send them for six days and get 230. Send them for one day, get 24, and that tells you how much for the next level. 
This will go 6, 2.30. Let's hope this doesn't put us in a fight. Alright. Now, I have another graveyard at 6, 3.45. So you can see how the more you have of everything, it kind of adds up. So, that is the game. I think I'm going to leave you there with it. I don't really want to ruin it for you. I want you to be able to figure it out and do it yourself because that's kind of half the fun. But this game is only 5 bucks on Steam. And you're definitely going to get more than 5 hours of fun out of it. I don't know how long it's going to take me to beat it, but I'm willing to bet I'm going to play for at least 10 hours, if not more. There's two more levels of difficulty after you beat it the first time, and it's already hard enough. So, definitely worth it, your guys' money. I would definitely, definitely suggest it. And once again, don't forget to subscribe so you can get some email alerts when I come out with new videos on some fun games. You guys have a great day. Peace out.